Head service review. Hey, it's Dave here from Hillsong Church. It hit me last night that this is the first time we get to maybe peek into other children's ministries around the world without having to visit them. And so I thought to myself, we should have a look at some of these services in the era of COVID and see what they do from the outside looking in. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the top three, maybe the top five, I don't know. See who's innovating, see who is trying new things to reach kids in this era. I'm not gonna be talking about what my own church does because I feel like we answered that in our last episode of the Vault Podcast. So if you're interested, definitely check that out on this channel. But what we are gonna be looking at is a whole bunch of other churches that I've discovered looking around the web at what you guys have been up to. Let's jump into it. Gonna start with Arise Kids uh, from New Zealand. It's always good to start in your neck of the woods. So what Arise Kids have done, have chosen the pre-recorded path. I'm Annalise, and this is our friend John. Uh, we've got an interview with Richie Moanga. He's an all black. I will point out this is what I loved, is trying to find some kind of well-known personality to interview, I love that because it's going to make the kids want to watch and share church with you. Now, and getting an All Black in New Zealand is like getting a Super Bowl winner in America. We're gonna meet some brand new friends who are gonna teach us about adaptability. And Annalise is gonna bring the word. Voice to him, he's worthy to be praised. Now using pre-recorded worship, we're gonna see a lot of that as we go through these websites. Very safe option. No matter what change comes my way, my God never changes. Arise Kids love your work, excellent. I highly suggest you check out what they're doing on the YouTube channel. I'm gonna get even closer to home right now with Kingdom City Church from Perth in Australia. This is really cool because this is the first time I've seen a senior pastor get involved with what the kids are doing. Full marks for accessibility from their main website. You click on the kids, kids service and it immediately starts playing. You don't even have to push play. This is a church that is not only in Perth, Australia, but in a lot of Asian countries up above Australia. This is a fantastic kind of countdown video. It really reflects the different nationalities that are involved in the church. And that this service will be amazing. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so one of the trickiest things is to get kids involved in your online services, but Incredibly rewarding when you do. More full marks for Kingdom City. Getting kids on screen is one of the easiest way to make sure the kids watching are engaged with the screens. So pre-recorded worship. This is worship I haven't heard before, so I'm definitely going to check out where this song comes from. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Did You Know? The show where we learn all kinds of amazing facts and put them to the test. My name is Pastor Jesse, and I'm here with our incredible superhero, Mr. Amazing. Did you know that... I noticed an interesting trend is to call your, uh, your weekend service an episode or a TV show. Uh, and I wonder if that's conveying what we really want to help kids understand, that this is the church. We're gathering as the church. We're not gathering as an episode. Lift your hands as we pray together. If you have a testimony or a prayer need, send it to us. The details are on the screen. This is something that we have kind of settled on as well because live chat is out of the question for us in terms of child safety. Uh, we've gone to Instagram as our primary way to communicate, uh, which is a little bit trickier, but uh, this is fantastic as well. Hi everybody and welcome to- Now this is interesting. It's our first case of having a senior pastor involved, Jemima Varughies. Uh, is involved in the filming of this and her husband later on uh, both senior pastors will be speaking and this is this is huge marks hey dad today we learned about billy graham the evangelist so now this is what i'm talking about the varagis brothers the pastor's kids with their dad the senior pastor this is uh, mind-blowing it's so fantastic to see Again, a lot of work has got into this one church service. I'm not sure if they produce this normally for their weekend services, uh, but if they do, 
I'm a big yeah. fan of Pastor Mark Varaghese. Like he use them he is uh, definitely Father, I thank you that a, a, a man who understands how important right kids are in his church. In home, sitting in their home. Uh, the Spoiler alert, but I think Kingdom City Kids will be in my top five list at the end of this episode. Okay, my next group is Idle Wild Kids, which I don't know how hard it is to say with an American accent, but Idle Wild Kids, Idle Wild Kids from. Uh, Idle, oh gosh, Idle Wild Baptist Church in Tampa, Florida, and I am just fascinated by what they did. Again, this is live streaming, but not over YouTube, uh, and you're not live streaming to YouTube. Now, this was suggested to me on Facebook, and I found this fascinating about what they are doing, and I think it'll blow your mind. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. We're so glad to see you guys today. That's right, Miss Lisa. I think we are ready for another week of week of bonkers. I've also noticed a trend that a lot of our team and leaders are called Miss Susie or M Mr. Whatever, which is uh, interesting. It's like a teacher thing. Let's see what the day holds for us. That's right, the beaches are open. We they have set up and recorded a live, I think it's Zoom, potentially Zoom call. So all their kids get onto one Zoom call and they engage in this content and the service together. Then they put the recording at the end of that up on YouTube. And I think it's an amazing idea uh, because uh, it's very accessible and it keeps the kids right there. Let's have a look at some highlights. So playing some Yancey Praise and Worship and we're seeing kids on the screen. Other kids dancing, moving and grooving along. Uh, you can see one of the, um, one of the screens there is the, uh, one of the leaders doing dance actions. And the kids following along. I'm not sure what the kids can see when they're in the call. Maybe they can see this, maybe they can see the leader doing the actions, but it is fabulous. Yeah, people chasing him. People are not happy that he is telling Classic Zoom backgrounds. We've all done them, we've all used them if you've been any calls. Uh, here's our host hosting the service. We're also cutting back to the kids there in the service. The host is still on screen bringing up Bible verses, which is awesome. And this is fantastic, going full screen, all the kids watching, no matter where they're at, we've got people who raise their hands to answer questions, and the host will cut to that kid and unmute them. Pray to God and ask him to forgive your sins. Classic, you just never know what's going to happen when you cut to a kid on a live stream, right? <laughs> Most of the services I've noticed do have games within it, which is another interesting trend that I've noticed. I know what we do as a ministry is we try and put the games at the front end of the service before it's officially started. Uh, and so then our service is purely about the word and about worship. Uh, and so the games are almost like a separate segment rather than in the middle of the service. Finishing off with announcements. Fantastic. Here's what's going on in the week. As you can see, a lot of their ministry is revolves around Zoom and online meetings. Love it. So this is full marks to Idlewild. I just heard one of the leaders say Idlewild a lot easier than I did. Uh, so there you go. Unmute all the kids at the end of the service. Fantastic. Have a yell, have a scream, say goodbye. Full marks Idlewild and definitely something that you can learn from. Life Church, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, multi-site church in America. And I've noticed a lot of churches using their content, especially the Bible app for kids, which is closely related to their church. Four marks, we've got early childhood, we've got Crosstown, five years old to, in kindergarten, connect, first and third grade loop, different content for each age group. Uh, we're going to jump in and just check out connect. Uh, and that takes you to a playlist on YouTube, uh, which gives you all the services for the past few weeks. So very well organized. This one here is a premiere video. So premiere in 30 videos, sorry, in 30 hours. Uh, so let's go back and look at one that was last weekend. I have a question for you. Do you ever have free time? You know, like where you don't have anything really to do? So I think that this is content that was being planned for a long time. There's nothing extra they're doing for live streams. Pre-recorded praise and worship, fantastic. Definitely a song I need to check out. 
and Moses is animated Bible story, said, fantastic way to do it. And Moses. this could be done by anybody with an iPad God. and a time lapse. They told Aaron to make uh, them new gods. I think um, Procreate is the so software. So it's this is not animation where this is a very expensive to produce. Aaron melted down this the is cre a capturing a time lapse, which is what like a, a lot of Hillsong Kids curriculum Aaron is. And I love this style. Keeps the kids engaged, but also is reasonably effective to produce. offered their sacrifices to their new gods because they were tired. Very well organized and structured and very clear so that parents can get what they need. Also, all that breakdown of age groups is fantastic. All marks Life Church. So I'd just like to highlight um, Table Church, which is a new church plant in Texas, I believe, somewhere in Texas, and but really, uh, really producing media above where they should be as a new church plant with the help of Tyler and Connie, who I know are very good at media and music. And what they're producing uh, is very encouraging. Oh, okay. Mr. Taylor. There's the Mr. and Miss thing. Maybe it's a Texas thing. I'm gonna go help him and make sure he's okay. Help me to do Again, big marks getting any kind of kids on screen. And all of their praise and worship production is using existing songs and producing some pretty simple but very effective videos. Uh, just some actions, some dance moves. Again, creating something that's achievable in the time that we have in between weekend services. And again, a similar way to tell Bible stories. It's not full animation, but it's a created elements that are moved around in a fun way on a basically a looping background. This is a really effective way. And you can see that they're slightly transparent. So the animations, you can see through them, gives them a bit of texture. Now I want to talk about friends of ours, Kidspring. Uh, we start off with a website that's very clear. We have preschool and elementary, elementary being school-aged. So if we jump into the elementary video, hey just starts everyone. playing. My name is Susanna, but you can call me Suze. We're going to kick the it's day off. It's very easy to tell where this church together, is in America. So it's definitely not up in the north. A keyboard not plugged in. That's fine. Oh, every shoot I've done with music video with a keyboard has never been plugged in either. <laughs> Where's that power cord? Take a look at what happened while we were filming our latest episode. Bible story, fantastic animation, no. not full animation, but again, just enough Peter to keep it interesting Jesus, for kids. But like all of Lovely this, style. A little bit of a game in the middle of the service. We're finishing off with some praise and worship. After the praise and worship, just some questions for you. Okay, kids bring killing it. I've always known they've made a lot of great content. You can tell there's a lot of budget and a lot of work that goes into producing what they produce every single week. Next, first NLR for North Little Rock. They have their on-demand services and obviously very simple, laid out really, really well. Bit of a countdown. Maybe this was live streamed. I think, if I remember what he told me is they live stream this once and then for the rest of the weekend, it's on demand here. Doing live worship is always very tricky just because of the expectation on recorded music these days where everything is so refined and tuned and, and stunning. Live can be a real hazard. But again, amazing having kids, especially kids lead kids in worship. Young teens are some of the most valuable assets in your kids ministry if you can get them involved in serving. Extra marks for doing a Hillsong Young and Free song. Who is your favorite superhero? This is very well rehearsed and practiced. They knew exactly where they were going straight after each segment. Fantastic. Sometimes it's easy for a host to waffle before they go on to the next thing. These kids know exactly what's going on. Let me guess. Miss Rachel. Oh, yes. Go Look, ahead. Miss. It's a bird. What you gotta know? What do I need to know? Let's find out. That guitar's not plugged in, Brian. My name is Wiggy Pop, and I'm here to have okay, a Wiggy Pop. All right, I'll give him that one. I'll give him that one. Well, the answer All right, there it is. First in LA Kids finishing off with a uh, quiz, uh, a mixture of their pre-recorded elements from their curriculum, but also live on stage moment. Well, that's it. That's all the videos we're gonna have a look at today. Uh, after going through all of that, there's a lot to learn from, but I wanna give some honorable mentions, maybe not a top three list, but Kingdom City, having your senior pastor involved with kids 
on screen incredible. Idlewild, Idlewild, mm. Idlewild Kids and their online Zoom service, which they record and put up later, fantastic. And I saw a lot of churches using the Orange curriculum uh, that was on their live streams, and that's fantastic. And just so you know, that most of the curriculum providers, I know that we, Hillsong Kids Big, uh, is able to be used on stream uh, without copyright problems, also our music, all that stuff. So make sure you get yourself clued up on that. In fact, on this channel, there's a video where a, one of our legal counsels on staff at our church talks about the, just how you do that properly. So have a listen to Tim and see what he says about copyright and you. That's it. If I've missed your church, if I've missed a great example of a church somewhere around the world doing something interesting in the season, then please write it in the comments below. If I get enough interest, I'll do another one of these videos. We'll highlight some other churches. Please like and subscribe. Comment if you have anything to say. Tell us what you would like to see in the future and make sure that you come back and check out our Vault podcast because I think it will really bless you. Blessings upon you and your family. Farewell.